There are also complaints about the paint work of the body, on the wheel arches of cars of the first years of production, peeling of varnish or paint is possible. But the metal itself, thanks to galvanization, resists corrosion well, and if rust is noticeable on the body when choosing a car, this indicates the accident past of a particular instance. The prices for body parts are quite impressive. In the Ukrainian market, the most common power units are 1.8p, 2.0L and 2.5 liters. The most troublesome thing in the first two units is delivered by the proprietary twin spark ignition system with two candles per cylinder and a variable valve timing system. Despite the declared resource of 60 to 80,000 kilometers of candles with platinum electro tips, when using low quality fuel, they will have to be changed after 20 to 30,000 kilometers. The original candle for the 156th costs about $20, and you need to change them at once eight pieces. Moreover, candles of different types are placed on one cylinder. After a run of 100,000 kilometers, the variator for changing the valve timing may require replacement. It is necessary to be punctual in terms of replacing the timing belt and rollers every 40,000 kilometers. At the same time, the belts of attachments and balancer shafts are changed. The tension roller is made of special plastic and, as a rule, it does not take care of more than it should. Failure to meet the deadlines for replacing the roller is fraught not only with its failure, but also with a broken timing belt. Often, due to problems with the airflow meter on the Alfa Romeo 156, the idle speed of the engine floats. Power units are sensitive both to the quality of the oil and to the timing of its replacement. 2.5 liter engines are more enduring. However, they are not without problems. So, over time, there may be malfunctions in the operation of the potentiometer of the electronic accelerator pedal, which gives commands to control the power system. The payoff for good performance is fuel consumption. Yes, and maintenance costs are somewhat higher due to the dense layout of the engine compartment. Transmission. Italians were equipped with 5-speed and 6-speed manual gearboxes. Automatic gearbox with the possibility of manual switching cue system and pseudo-formula automated mechanics seal speed. Almost all Alfa Romeo 150 SIXS on the Ukrainian market are models with manual transmissions. When buying, you should conduct a thorough diagnosis of the six-speed mechanics. Paired with the most powerful V6 engine and with the appropriate temperament of the owners of such versions, the gearbox was subjected to increased loads. And its repair, due to design features, is difficult. Subsequently, the box was finalized, which significantly increased its reliability. Suspension. The chassis of the car is characterized by clarity and obedience. However, the weak point of the car is the front suspension. Its most vulnerable parts are the silent blocks of the upper arms of the front suspension, which serve for 20 to 30,000 kilometers and change along with the arms. Sharp squeaks during the passage of irregularities will signal the need for their replacement. Around the same time, the bushings of the rear pillar mount begin to sing along to them. After a run of 60,000 kilometers, the silent bolts of the lower levers, which are also offered together with the levers, will also require replacement. Wheel bearings and shock absorbers are more durable. When choosing a version with a heavy V6 engine and high mileage, you should definitely pay attention to the front springs, they can be sagging. Steering. The steering is equipped with the hydraulic booster. After a run of 120 to 140,000 kilometers, loss of tightness of the rail seals was noted. Fortunately, the rail is reparable. Brake system. For fans of active driving, the front brake pads last about 15,000 kilometers, the rear brake pads last two to three times longer. 